Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to make this wire pouch. Let's get started. I already attached thin fusible on the outer fabric. Let's prepare. First of all, one and a half inches seam allowance. You have to draw a line for both sides. And from that seam allowance and right on top of the center line, you draw two 1.5 inches square. Please remember how to cut the gasset. You have to draw two squares right on the center line. 1.5 by 1.5 square. Two of them. That's right on the center line from one and a half inch seam. So the rectangle itself is 2 by 3. So I cut 4 gasset. Then this leftover gasset fabric I'm going to use for the zipper tab. And please watch the video how I'm going to put the tab onto the, uh, the zipper. fold in half, then every single side fold maybe quarter inch seam, just like that. Then just to make sure this tab is big enough for the zipper, like that. I'm just making sure. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be, you know, the perfect fit, okay? It's a little bit bigger would be good. So fold in half that way, wrong side out, okay? And sew them that side. Okay, right now you don't need zipper, just so those two lines. Then when you sew them, you will cut excessive fabric and corners. Okay? There we go. Now you cut corners because you will now turn inside out if you have too much fabric around there it's gonna be not nice corners okay so make sure do not cut the thread okay also I use leftover fabric from the uh, gasset but you don't have to only if you want to and you don't need to make tub either this is totally up to you but you know it's better looking with tub okay now you're turning inside out make sure the corner 
nice and neat. Then put the zipper. 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 Z
seam. There you go. I can put my finger in. Okay, that side. Make sure about it, okay? If you sew them, there's you, you can't make two later. Okay? And now I'm actually making sure zipper is open because if zipper is closed you can't turn inside out. Then Let's sew gasset. That seam allowance you open and I draw the center at the very beginning. So you have to match those two lines and make sure the alignment is good and just sew right there. Maybe quarter inch seam. You don't need big seam. Okay, open the seam, then sew them. There you go. And I sew four of them. Now you turn inside out. Just slowly take your time and make sure the zipper tab will be out. You know, just pull in. Okay? And after this, you will make two, which is sew double line on top of the uh, zipper. Okay, one is the edge of the uh, the top of the uh, zipper and fabric. You know, maybe one eighth seam, just regular top stitching. Okay, then maybe three quarter below the uh, the top stitching okay I'll show you in maybe five seconds I'm just making sure everything is out okay and there you go before you do top stitching you have to adjust that you know the excessive fabric right there you just fold inward and the line has to be straight and make sure nice and neat like that and put the clip there you go put your finger in and push inward so it's not coming out okay and you know the four corners you have to do that then you do top stitching right there maybe one eighth seam or close to the edge then three quarter below that top stitching you have to sew line both sides make two okay Then you put wire in. If you don't have the the wire that I'm using, you have to make wire with wire hanger. Okay, I'm just telling you when you put the uh, the wire in, you have to close that you know tube opening so you. The, the wire doesn't come out later okay so after this I will show you how to make wire frame from the uh, wire hunger very easy okay if you don't have the, uh, the wire frame you have to make First of all, you have to measure the length of two. Mine was 11.5. So, the wire should be 11 inches. So, always the length minus half inch. 
you have to remember. And you have to bend the wire 2 inch, 7 inch, and 2 inch. This is pretty much up to you. Okay? And close every opening, which is inside of the fabric, also the tube. Okay? I actually did the hand sewing. That was easier. That's about it. The good thing about the wire pouch, um, you can leave the, the zipper open and stand still. So if you make this kind of smaller and a little bit longer, you can make pencil case, something like that. So try to make your own wire pouch. Enjoy!